thank God for the gift of this great saint to us. We thank God for the gift of our lives. We thank God immensely for the gift of our families. As we continue to experience the year of Saint Joseph, we pray through his intercession asking God to protect our families from danger, to protect our families from hardship, protect our families from crisis and challenges of this life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall be reflecting on the topic, Saint Joseph, protector of the family. Saint Joseph, protector of the family. We have so many saints in the Catholic Church and these saints, my dear friends in Christ, are very important in our lives as Catholics and as Christians. We have St. Joseph as one of them and our families are passing through crises, our families are passing through difficult times, families are passing through challenges in this life. We need St. Joseph to protect our families. We need St. Joseph to grant us that peace and love in our families. Now, we have St. Joseph as a protector and protector of the Holy Family. All we need to do is to call on him all we need to do is to ask him for his fatherly protection and definitely he is going to do that for us because he has done that for the Holy Family of Nazareth and we believe and have the assurance in him that he will definitely grant us that same protection that we need. In the infancy narratives of the Gospel of Matthew, we see how Joseph did everything possible, yeah, of course with the help of the angel of God and the virtues that he had in him to protect and keep together the family, the holy family of Nazareth. Now, we will look at some of the, the virtues, talking about the virtue of humility, the virtue of obedience and the spirit of availability and then let's see because most of these virtues also are uh, in one way or the other assisted St. Joseph to have accomplished his task. In humility, St. Joseph as we know him to be the just man and a humble man, in humility, Joseph protected Mary and Jesus. He gave them his time made a lot of sacrifices for them in order to keep them together, even in difficult and challenging moments of his life. In the spirit of availability, St. Joseph was always there for his family, to care for them, giving them that care, and also listening to them and teaching them all that they need to do. When the life of Jesus was in danger, when his life was under threat by King Herod, Joseph did not run away from them. Joseph did not run away from the family to protect himself. He did not abandon Mary and the baby Jesus to take care of themselves. Joseph was always there to make sure they are fine and to keep them together. He was available to play his role as protector of the Holy Family. Now, in obedience, which is one of the virtues of St. Joseph, at the angel's instruction, at the angel's command, he immediately took Mary and Jesus to Egypt. That is where we have the concept, the flight into Egypt stayed with them until when it was time for them to go back to Nazareth. 
Think about the journey to Egypt, my dear friends in Christ. It was not an easy one at all. It was a journey into a foreign land, yet Joseph was there to protect his family. The journey was tough. The journey was so difficult, but he didn't complain. He pushed on because he needed to be by their side to protect them. In our own time, my dear friends in Christ, many of us will complain, many of us will grumble. The journey is, is tough, the road is too far, the suffering is too much and all of that. We may end up, for some of us, giving up. We may end up giving up on the way. Joseph was faithful to his mission. We therefore need St. Joseph to protect us. We need St. Joseph to protect our families. We need St. Joseph to protect our businesses. May he protect every one of us from the troubles of this world through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Joseph, our protector, pray for us.